Hey there YouTube, welcome to another episode of Jay's Beer Reviews. I got a quick one for you today, because uh, I found a beer that I'm actually really excited about. Uh, and so you guys know that my, my first IPA, the one I did was the uh, Brickstone's Galaxy Down Under. Uh, that was like a kind of seasonal or limited release that they do. Uh, they just came out this month, well, I guess August. They came out with um, this Hop Screamer. Um, and so that's their, uh, their Mosaic IPA in their single hop series. Um, so the thing that, that really interested me about it was the, the, the cryo hops. That's like a trademark term that they use. And then the um, lupal N2 hop powder that they use. You know, I, I've been reading about this I'm, you know, as a home brewer. It's like a, something that I'm, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with. Um, but this is the first beer I'd seen that actually uh, like advertised that they use the, 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 that, that hop powder. Uh, I was really excited to try it out and you know, see, see what I thought about it. Um, so let's let, let me give it a pour real quick, and I'll give you guys some tasting notes. So you guys know I'm I'm a glass freak. I got my really cool um, North Pier. Uh, they're from uh, Benton Harbor, Michigan, St. Joe, Michigan. They're from Southwest Michigan. And I I really like this glass. The one thing I love about it is that it's so thin. It's like super lightweight. Um, it's a it's a very very nice kind of like I call it dainty uh, kind of glass. I like it's got the little, you know, little handle so you can you know, hold it very easily without warming your beer up too much. Uh, and it also does hold 16 ounces, which is great. Uh, nice little area to like uh, condense all the aromas of the beer. So that's, that's a glass I like a lot. So even from this distance, I get like a very strong kick of hops out of this beer. And you know, I poured it with a little bit of uh, extra zeal in it, I think. So um, it's got a nice little white head on it. Uh, it's it's very very clear. Um, I, I dare say that it is uh, brilliantly clear. However, I can see like chunks floating around in it, which like I mean I'm not not to say it's a bad thing, but it's got um, whatever like hot powder or I don't know yeast something that's in it. Um, but I can actually see little like dust floating around in it, which is uh, kind of cool. The aroma I get is is very. Uh, very citrusy, very piney, very tropical, and I get a lot of like dank, sweet dank notes out of it. Really nice, like full tongue coating your mouth and you know coating your tongue in oil, kind of you know bitter but not super bitter. Little like woodsy, little berry, which I do get like like a fresh bite from a super juicy mango that's like hitting right in like the, the middle of my tongue, you know middle in the front to back middle i i really enjoyed the uh the galaxy down under you know uses those uh those new zealand hops i thought that was a fantastic beer it was probably one of my more favorite ipas that i've ever had you know that one i liked a lot it had a, a nice kind of amberish to it so it was a little bit edging more toward like your kind of like classic uh you know what i call midwestern style ipa with like the crystal malts in it a little bit of body this one is, is very much decidedly like on that, that drier end of the spectrum. I mean, you can see pouring it almost looks like it's um, like a Pilsner or something. It's, it's super, super pale, you know, for an IPA. But it's, it's, it's super dry, super drinkable. I believe that the carbonation is just even a little bit higher. It's, it's very like kind of forcing those hops into your, into your nose and into your mouth. Very, very light malt. Very like, you know, a little bit of like biscuity, little... Um, little like malt character but uh i'm definitely not getting like any kind of like sweet malt characteristics like no like no crystal no like honey malt kind of thing it is for real just like very dry very drinkable it's all about the hops it's just like super shining on the hops um everything else takes a back seat to that it's so good so smooth um so yeah brickstone uh, you know i think that they really did a great job making this one too um like I said, I want to do this one. I really, really, really like that Galaxy Down Under, and I'll, I'll link to it in, uh, in the video here. So if you did not see that one, you can look back over at that one. I believe it's available at the beginning of the year, middle of the year. So if you didn't get to try it, you can definitely pick some up in the next few months. I'm not sure if this one is, uh, if this one's part of their like rotating release or if it's just one off. Based on what their Facebook says, it's, I believe this is the first time they've made this beer. Uh, and at least made it available for cans to distribute. I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm actually just a big, like, Brickstone fanboy, you know, from just their pale ale, uh, you know, again, like, gold medal winning pale ale, you know, all the way to their, like, their forbidden wheat. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a wheat, which I'm not super fond of, but, um, at least for what it is, I think it's very well done. 
you know, their their IPAs that I've been getting, you know, with the Galaxy Nine Under and with with this uh, Hop Screamer, I think that they're making just phenomenal, phenomenal American beers. And so I really am looking forward to getting, you know, more from them. Of course, I live in Illinois, and so, uh, you know, they're, like, locally available. I mean, they're this one's really good. Um, if you get a chance, you should definitely pick it up. Um, you will not be disappointed if you like IPA. For Jay's Beer Reviews, cheers and enjoy. Oh, that's so good.